Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah Yahweh. Come, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, this is to remind you of whom God has made you to be. Sometimes you ask yourself, am I really that strong? Am I really that tough? Why am I faced with tough situations? You know, one thing that I learned, even when I heard this message, is that, you know, God give um, the toughest battle to his toughest army, to his, to, to his toughest soldiers. You understand? So, the fact that you are faced with tough or difficult battles doesn't mean that, oh, maybe because there is something you are not doing right, that is why, no. The Bible says that he will not put us he will not allow us to be tempted above what we can handle. Hallelujah. God will not allow us to be tempted to the point where, where his glory will be tempered with. Somebody, you are hearing me right now, you are like, why am I faced with tough challenges? Why is it that my challenges is always tougher than other people's challenges? <laughs> The truth is that your star, it is brighter. Your destiny, it is greater. So if you are being faced with tougher challenges more than other people, you should know that there is something different about you. That is why the enemy is after your life. And you need to understand that the enemy does not go after an empty destiny. More of the time, the enemy go after those that the Lord have that the Lord have said to plant that will be fruitful to the point of feeding others. Am I speaking to somebody? So sometimes the enemy does not go after those who will be fed. He go after those who will feed those ones. It is not everyone that can feed others. When we talk about feeding, I am not talking about just food. Feeding life in general. The enemy sometimes does not really go after those who are not in their position to feed others. He go after the ones that are, that are meant to feed them. He does not go after those who cannot feed others. Those who are meant to receive their feeding. Who are meant to receive their feeding. I don't want to miss this word. That is why I'm saying it again because I think I'm missing something. He does not go after those who will receive their feeding. Who will be fed. He go after those who will feed those that are meant to be fed. Hallelujah. So that is why sometimes those ones that God have assigned to feed nation, that God have assigned to build his household, that God have assigned to break limitations in family, in locality, in city, in town, they are the ones that experience toughest battle. Hallelujah. Now, child of God, no matter how they try to bury you, because when I hear this word, they tried all they can. To bury this person. They have done all they can. They have done all they can. They have used threats. They have used sickness. They have used disappointment, heaviness, depression, different kinds of things to make sure they bury this person. But yet, you are still there. When I hear this word, the next thing I hear is just like an olive tree. Olive tree history have the ability to live. For 2,000 years, when you are the type that study, you will know what I'm talking about, you know. Olive tree, when you cut an olive tree, it has the ability to spring water very fast 
it is hard before an olive tree will just cut it and it will just die it is hard it is very hard it has one of the toughest surviving ability on this earth so that is who you are no matter how many years they have tried to bury you you will just survive you are like a seed you know that no one can bury even when they try to bury the seed on the ground the seed will spring forth and when the seed spring forth it will be more beautiful it will be more large it will yield more seed when it become when it come out again you don't expect to bury a single seed and expect to harvest a single seed no when a seed is buried when it comes out into the earth it become more beautiful and it need more fruit that is who you are child of god because you are among of those who are meant to feed others you are not the one that is meant to like receive the feeding but you are meant to be on top to pour on others to feed others to strengthen others this is whom god said i should talk to this is why you are faced with difficult challenges because they tried all they can to bury you but hear me child of god you are tougher than the grave you are tougher than the grave Yes, you are tougher than the grave. So you are not permitted to be buried when it is not your time. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister evangelize by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.